Hello friend, welcome to Marine Engineering Hub. This is your narrator Ravi Gupta. Today we are going to talk about low pressure cut in and cut out in a refrigeration system. So first let's see in a diagram that where the LP cut out is provided or LP controller is provided. Basically the LP controller in a refrigeration system is provided on the suction side of the compressor. It means that the gas which is coming out from the evaporator will pass through the LP controller and then to the compressor. A tapping is been taken from here to the LP controller. So what is the importance of LP controller and when will the LP controller will be activated and deactivated? Let's see. LP controller will be activated and will shut down the compressor when suction pressure in the line fall below the set pressure. So what do I mean by that is this, this LP controller will shut down the compressor when the line pressure on the suction side will fall below a certain pressure. Basically in normally most of the compressor the setting is around 1.2 bar. Okay. So, what will happen? 1.2 to 1 bar. Basically, what will happen when the suction pressure is coming around 1.2, at that time it will detect and it will stop the compressor so that it should not run on the low load. Okay. Now, this will happen. When, will, when it will happen? This will happen when all the evaporator room reach its desired temperature. Okay. So, if someone asks that when will the suction pressure in the compressor side will fall. So this will happen when most of the evaporator section in the refrigeration system has reached its desired temperature. At that time the suction pressure on the compression line will fall. And at that time the LP controller will be activated and will shut down the compressor. Now, the second question is asked, will the system once get activated need to be reset by manually as it is an alarm? No, LP controller does not need to be reset manually. It will get automatically deactivated when LP controller will be deactivated when the suction pressure in the line rises up. Now, when it will rise up, this will happen when evaporator compartment temperature rises okay so this is a type of controller where the compressor will be shut down when the pressure decrease in the line when the pressure will increase at that time this controller will automatically get reset and will start the compressor so it is a type of cutout which does not need to be reset manually. It will automatically reset itself depending upon the suction pressure in the compressor side. Now, the suction pressure in the compressor side will rise up when the evaporator at the evaporator room temperature is started to increase. At that time, more amount of gas will come and it will increase the suction side pressure okay so this to this it is clear now how a lp pressure controller work lp controller operate through a bellow which monitor pressure in a compressor section a pressure differential is provided to prevent frequent cutting and cut out so it is very important. What is the pressure differential? It means that to prevent frequent cutting and cut off, basically, if suppose the compressor is set to cut out at 1.2 bar, it will cut in at around 1.5 to 1.8. So that to make sure that there should not be frequent cutting and cut off, the, the difference in the cutting and cutout pressure. Now let's see this is the LP 
controller inside box inside this box this is the thing so as you can see this is a connection from the compressor suction so this is the compressor suction tapping okay now from here the gas is coming and it is pushing up the spring and as the spring is been pushed this is basically a type of rocker arm arrangement as you can see this is a basically a type of rocker arm arrangement what is happening when the compression pressure is increasing at that time the this spring will be get pushed and the force will be acting on upward direction and when it will move on this direction this will be flipped means this will be like this flipped as it will get flipped it will push this pointer and as the pointer will get pushed this movable switch will make contact with this and the compressor will cut in okay once more i will repeat what is happening from here the gas is coming it is pushing up the spring and after that from here this rocker arm type arrangement here this will push the pointer and this is the fixed point of the ship switch and this is the movable point this will get pushed and this point will make contact with this and the compressor will cut in so the compressor will cut in when the suction pressure rises up when the suction pressure fall at that time what will happen the spring will move it down as the spring will move it down this will be pushed in a positive direction and this will be taken off and the compressor will cut out so let's see what i have written here the push pin operate the switch through a contact which is flipped open or closed through a coiled spring plate when contact is open the spring is coiled okay outward movement of the pin compresses the spring and this then flip the contact to close the compressor starting circuit so i hope this is very clear how the lp controller in a refrigeration system work now before ending this video i want to tell, tell you that i have made video regarding the refrigeration system explaining each and every component such as lp controller hp cutout unloader condenser solenoid valve thermostatic expansion valve everything so please do you go to the play section and you can watch and have a complete knowledge of a refrigeration system one by one and if you have any doubt you can revert back in the comment section box please friend please do subscribe and share and please be safe in your home image credit goes to mac george have a good day friend